Alright, and we're back with more fear. I believe we were trying to go this way. It's been a couple. I've actually had a lot go on over the last couple of days. I haven't been able to get to... I think it's been a week since I got back to this. Ooh, what are the controls? F, right. Let me, let me get reacquainted with controls here. I know F is instead of E because E is used for that. R for reload, obviously. What was the flashlight? Control slow down. Ah, X for flashlight. And then G for grenade, I'd probably assume. Yeah. Help us keep this room. Well, you're you're doing a pretty poor job, but uh, unfortunately, I don't think. Yeah, it's not Fallout, so I can't move this body, or I would. I could grab this map. No? Okay. Hello? Bad kid. some gross blood please use handrail breaking the law breaking the law I don't use handrails I'm too cool for rules okay keep think wear proper safe I'm definitely not wearing the proper safety equipment for like a were those my guys or that old guy his name was Fidel right I think his name was Fettel. It's been a couple days and I can't quite remember, but I think his name was Paxton Fettel. Mm -hmm. Authorized personnel only. Not today, it's not. You're gonna turn that little bridge for me. Thank you. I don't think there's anyone to call you back, man. There I go down here. Perhaps they've hidden like a little studio bag. Slippery when wet. Well, it looks like it's not wet because I'm not slipping. There might be one of those like permanent health upgrades somewhere down here. I'm hoping. Yoop. Ha ha. There was. Oh, a reflex booster upgrade. And like I, I think I previously mentioned this, but uh. I definitely don't know where all of those are, so I'm gonna be a little bit of time, or there's gonna be a few times in these levels that I just have no clue, and I might miss them, and if so, that's my bad. But I never, never claimed to know where all the stuff was. Ooh, ooh, if I recall correctly, this is one of the scary parts. So as I recall, one of these times when you're going down a ladder, you'll actually see that little girl in the red red dress uh, pop up. And uh, my first time playing through this, it actually terrified me on my first playthrough. Because I really wasn't expecting it. I guess I should ask Logan if he actually found this game scary. I know he doesn't quite like it. There she is. He wasn't fond of it because I think he got like stuck or turned around or something. And in that instance, like he didn't quite manage to grasp any kind of plot because it felt kind of empty to him. And so, uh,. He started to just not like the game really much. I think if he actually like played it in a difficulty where like he would be able to, yeah, to have a. Oop, we got bad guys. How do I crouch? C, right? There we go. 
because they screwed up the entire control system. I'm wondering if I should perhaps try and fix that to make it more keen and attuned to uh, common day first person shooters. Nope, can't go in there. Hello. Oh yeah, was it? Yeah, shift, but it's a toggle shift. Get wrecked, sir. Anyone else? Oop. Grenade, grenade, grenade. Oh boy. Come on, buddy. I know you're there. Get wrecked. I'm gonna screw up all these controls, mind. I will always pick up the first aid kits. Although I do believe you have a cap. What'd they say? The cap was 10? Slippery when wet. That's what she said. That was a bad joke, I'm sorry. Hello? Got some armor. Always good. Ooh, this one. Wait, no. Nope. That guy's still on vacation. Help us keep this room clean. This is actually a really tidy room. Could call the uh, maintenance in to patch up this hole, though. I don't really know why there's a hole there. Like, had had they like killed somebody in here, the wall would have been riddled with holes. And there'd still probably be a blood stain or dead body, but really that's just a hole in the wall. So that happened before this facility went to crap. Now that says something. Also, why is there all these like crates here? They're all fragile, but you can't break them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oop. Thanks. Oh. Ooh, hello, sir. Thank you. No, thank you. I uh, can't see anything in the smoke. I always thought it would be kind of cool for a game to, like, incorporate... This is going to be random, but uh, I thought of it because I saw these two things. Uh, there's a scene in Aliens. If you've seen the, the second Aliens film, there's actually a scene when they all go into the hive. And in the hive, they have to collect rounds because uh, they're actually in a reactor. And uh, if anyone were to fire on the reactor, it would actually blow up. I've not quite ever seen that kind of concept taken into a game, other than I think it might have been a thing in... I want to say Resident Evil 1? I think in Resident Evil 1, there's actually a, uh, a room towards the end in uh, the labs area where like these monkey things are crawling all over the walls or the ceiling and stuff. Uh, I knew there was some kind of extra here. I was just trying to figure out where it was. Um... But in that room, I believe if you misfire to the point where, like, you hit, like, some of the instruments, that you just explode. That's the only game I've ever really taken, seen, taken into consideration that, you know, like, some things might actually explode should you, ex should you shoot them, other than the obvious, like, exploding barrel barrels or something, you know what I mean? It could just mean that I'm not cultured in enough first-person shooters. After all, it isn't my my exact favorite genre by any account. So it could just be that, but uh, I don't know. It's just, personally, I've not seen that happen a lot. Did I come from this way? Yeah, I came from this way. So I'm guessing, hmm, why would there be an upward path? Is it because I can't get through this door? That's probably it. Yeah, okay, fair enough. So I need to go... 
There's no sprint button, that I think about it. You'll have to excuse me because I have been playing Skyrim most of today. And uh, obviously in Skyrim you have stamina, so if you're going standard fast, you can hold shift and then boom, you're using your stamina. Hello. No. No one. Hello. Oh, there he is. Got him. But I always thought, like, obviously that would, like, increase the difficulty level by margins if you, uh, you know, had to actually focus on where you were shooting. But I mean... That's not a bad thing. It's a it's a better way to increase like a difficulty level than just like throwing more soldiers in. Because obviously, yeah, that's going going to make it slightly more difficult if like you take more damage or. But I think it would separate like a difficulty level from actually just having skill. Because one of my one of my biggest issues with first person shooters, first of all, there's just not a big story in first-person shooters which I mean yeah the, you you go into a first-person shooter kind of expecting more or less of a uh, you know an action game so I mean it's understandable to an extent but and I'm not saying there's no first-person shooters that have good stories there's definitely some you have uh, Borderlands Borderlands is a really good first-person shooter um, the Doom games, all really good. Um, or, I guess I shouldn't say all the Doom games. Obviously, some of the Doom games didn't quite have a story, and they were definitely more action-oriented. But then you have games like Doom 3. That one definitely had, like, a story going on somewhere there. I was also kind of fond of Turok for the PS3, but I think that's more for nostalgia than anything. I just thought it was really cool at the time. There's a specific level in it that actually was uh, rather interesting because it let you either go stealth mode or, uh, or you could go like all out action kind of thing. And, uh,. I remember, because one of the items you can use is just your knife, I remember that uh, my brother and I had decided that we were going to attempt to do like a knife-only stealth run, because if you even shot off like one, one bullet, half the compound would know you were there. So it was kind of interesting to try that, and that's why that level specifically like sticks out to me. But I remember, like, specifically doing that was just a really fun time. Modern Warfare 2 also had a really good, good story mode. I, I really enjoyed Modern Warfare 2. I haven't played any of the other ones, though. The data's uploading now. Okay. Chemicals in the water, huh? Hello? Can I get a pop? If this was Shenmue, I could have gotten a pop. Weak. Okay, moving on. Let's see, what are some other first person shooters I like? Um. I liked uh, Medal of Honor European Assault. That one was a really good game. 
I remember playing the heck out of that game back in the day. Fuck. You dead. You dead. Oh no, you dead. Are you actually dead? No, you weren't. But they're all dead now. I've been wrong before. Find the building. There we go. Oop. You know, surprisingly, the AI in this is very, I don't want to say intelligent, but, uh, like in other cases, specifically in, like, modern war warfare games or something, a lot of the time the AI won't throw, like, grenades and stuff. Like, strategically. These ones, they know I'm here, so they're gonna throw a grenade to flush me out. That's another really good mechanic. And a lot of, like, the, the first-person shooters that I've played, uh, they don't think strategically like that as much as they're just gonna, like, creep forward until they can have you in their sight or something. But like I said, unfortunately, I have to base this on games that I've played, and since... I can't tell... I think that model's actually just going into the wall, which might be on purpose, but, uh, hmm. But yeah, I have to base it off of first-person shooters I played, which, like I said, I just don't play a lot of them. So my experience might be a little skewed, or my views might be a little skewed in comparison to other, other ones. Nope, there's a little girl going by again. I was wanting to say, it might not be here, it might be in a different section, but I'm wanting to say there's another, like, uh, permanent booster coming up soon-ish. Oh, there's a health kit. Always grab the health kits. Resistance Fall of Man was another really good, uh, um, first-person shooter game. I remember playing the heck out of that one. Although Resistance Fall of Man is the only one of that series that I've played. Come on, I know I have... No, there we go. Well, I wasted a medkit there. Oh well. Oh. She's not here. I've been tricked. Alright, but I do want to fall in here. Oh. Ew. We're wadding through blood. What is our shadow? Hmm. I don't think I actually ever noticed that the last time I played. Can I... Ooh, that's a skull. That was a skull. Nope, heavy resistance. Still level 3 though. 